Hello, welcome to another video from Lab New X looking at Chinese drama land in the past week. Before we go into talk about this week's drama news, I want to let you know that tomorrow on Sunday I'll do a live stream on my channel. If that works out better for everybody in the future, I could do that on Sundays. I haven't been able to do any live stream when I was back in China for August and September, so this would be my October live stream. I'm gonna do a small giveaway of things that I brought back from Hong Dian. Anyway, if you want to join in and try your luck at the giveaway and listen to me blab about my China trip, I'll put a thumbnail up before the live stream and you can click on the notify thing so that when it actually goes live, you will not miss it. A lot of things actually are ongoing right now in Chinese Ramland. Some of them are unconfirmed. So until they are fully confirmed, I'll talk about them. Let's start with dramas that have gone live. On October the 23rd, during this week, we have two dramas low profile went live on two different platforms. First is a drama that was initially set to go live actually back in May this year, but didn't happen. And there was a lot of rumor about why. Blooming Days, led by Hong Shan and he Ren Dong on Tencent, 36 episodes, and it is based on a Gong Dao kind of novel, the type of palace, harem, women's fight story that is not the type of encouraged genre of dramas right now in Dramaland with no promotion. So if you're actually not following this drama specifically, you wouldn't even realize, but now it's actually on Tencent. Then on the same day, we have another similar period idol drama that went live on Youku. Right now, the title is Yi Nian Hua Kai. I believe a long time ago when it was filming, I talked about it once and it was actually called Shi Xiong Zong Shi Yao Kai Hua. That's a very weird title. Its title is Blooming. So two dramas went live on the same day on two different platforms. One is called Blooming Days. The other is called Blooming. Thank you. Chinese Ramlin for translating titles that are super confusing. This is a comedy wuxia fantasy drama, 30 episodes, led by Huang Zhiyu and Fang Yilun. Based on the trailer, it's talking about a pair of Shi Xiong and Shi Mei. And it has something to do with the flower blooming, so therefore the original title is My Shi Xiong Always Is About to Bloom. And something interesting or funny going on with that setup. I haven't had time to check out this drama. I only realized it's live now. Then we have two dramas that are scheduled to go live on the same day, the 30th. First, there's a contemporary drama that will be airing on Aichi and Youku Plus, Beijing satellite television called Xun Pan, English title Sentencing. Looks like a very proper and serious drama focused on the work of the court system. And it's gonna be led by Wang Qianyuan, Lan Yingying, Yan Yiquan. It will be the type of focusing on a couple of very important cases that the drama features and along the line developing those individual characters drama. On the same day, we also have another drama that is also gonna be airing on Aichi and also Dongfang Television Satellite Station. So that's the Shanghai-based satellite television station. <laughs> Finally, how long has this drama been in the making and in the waiting and in the preparation of going live? Hong Xing Yin Li's contemporary drama featuring Gong Jun and Zhong Chuxi as the two leads. 40 episodes, <laughs> a contemporary drama of 40 episodes. That's a lot of stuff. Let's see if it has the watered down problem and way too much romantic story than the actual proper entrepreneur story. Honestly, for this type of drama, right, I have very little hope that it's actually gonna do a lot of justice to the actual businesses that the drama features. It's gonna be the type of under that disguise, it's a contemporary romantic drama. Drama, drama totally depends on if it sells the chemistry well and then it doesn't make the real world stuff too stupid looking then it will be good enough for me then we have a couple of dramas also going live early november first on the second going live on yoku and cctv 8 but the later slot closer to 10 o'clock and that is the romantic contemporary drama Zhi Yu Xi Lian Ren led by Luo Yunxi and Zhang Ruonan English title right now is Love is Panacea I think its original Chinese title is a different one on this previous poster it still has its old name but right now the title has been changed to this is a contemporary romantic drama and the theme is love can heal so you kind of can already guess at least 40% of what the story will look like eventually I believe actually right now Lo Yunxi has a rumored project that he's about to start shooting but it's not 100% confirmed so if it did get confirmed in the next couple of weeks to come we will be talking about that one day after that on the third another contemporary drama is also gonna go live on 
CCTV8. This is the one that's gonna take the eight o'clock golden slot on CCTV8. Xiao Man, 生活 It has changed its name from its previous 学区房 and it is that drama that actually has. Been made for quite some years, led originally by Qin Hao and Zhao Wei, but because of Zhao Wei's cancellation across all platforms in China, the drama actually had to reshoot with a different actress, Jiang Xin. So, being a drama that actually has its female lead completely swapped out in the post-production process, I am a little bit curious about whether that's going to affect the final product's quality a lot. If it Does go live, which you can never be hundred percent sure. On the day, I will check it out for a bit and see what it's like. Then let's talk about quite a lot of dramas that are officially promoting or have just started shooting. First, we have a drama during this week that has started promoting officially. Liu Zhouji, a period drama led by Zhang Wanyi and Wang Chuyuan. This is one of those dramas that have been in the making for a while, but due to this and that reason, haven't started promoting yet. Finally, it is promoting at the end of October. When actually back in September, when I was traveling in Hengdian, I actually walked onto one of their sets because、uh, I see the permit of the vans that are running around building stuff, and it says Liu Zhouji. So this is a period drama about a story between a sassy female 债主 like Dili Ruba's character in Anle Zhuan, and a prince. Ha ha ha! That's also like Anle Zhuan, isn't it? 债主 and prince. Same situation. There have been already a lot of leaked photos of these two actors shooting the drama on sets. If you're interested in these two actors working together in the period drama, you have something to look forward to probably next year. Then there's another drama that has started promoting officially during this week, although they haven't put out any official materials. Probably still in the making. In the next week or two, we should be able to see something. And it is the period 武侠 drama. 七夜雪 It is an 爱奇艺 drama led by Li Qing and Zeng Shunxi. 武侠 story two people meet. They can't get together for years, waiting for each other, and then didn't just like work out. The title actually means Seven Nights of Snow. And during the pre-production of this drama, there has been a lot of rumors about who's gonna lead this drama. I've seen multiple actresses' name being mentioned and then being <laughs> debunked about. No, it's not gonna be her. Finally, this time it's for sure Li Qing and Zeng Shunxi. I believe soon we're gonna see more material coming from it. Then we have dramas that are for sure are already shooting, either holding their ceremonies publicly or have been called by people are already in production on the street. First, there's a 36 episode 爱奇艺 contemporary drama that has started shooting during this week. Its Chinese title is 老去的家 the home that is aging. That is getting older, and it's a really fitting title considering the main characters featured in this drama are all played by actors and actresses over 60 years old. It is gonna be led by Ni Da Hong, Bao Qi Jin, Guo Qi Ling. Our two main characters are siblings, brother and sister, both over 60 years old. They come back together on a Chinese New Year's Day to visit their even older mother in her 80s. They ended up having to live with the older mother together for a while. So it becomes the story of three elderly people. Just by the synopsis, it does read more like an ITE drama, the platform that is most willing to test out different. Types of stories these days. Moving on, the next drama that has started shooting is a Youku crime drama called Po Xuan An. English title I'm not sure because I couldn't find it on any website. But I looked at their opening ceremony photo, and on the big printed back. Ground. It has letters scattered. It seems to read unresolved cases. This is a project that's going to be directed by a director called Suan, which everybody is thinking that must be Lao Suan, who is actually the son-in-law of Kong Sheng, who is the most important director of. Zhong Wu Yangguang, and he actually has directed Kai Duan and a couple of other Zhong Wu Yangguang productions. As for the story, it looks like a unit crime story. Every unit actually features completely different actors and actresses. So far, we've heard about two different cases casting, and there might be more. Because I don't think a two case drama is gonna really make sense. First case is actually gonna feature. Huang Jue and Wang Chuanjun. Then the second story is gonna feature Yue Yunpeng and Yang Shuo. Huh? Okay, that's completely different vibe. Just looking at the casting choices of these two pairs, I will keep an eye on this project and hope we can find out more about it later. Then we have a mango television drama that has 
started shooting also during this week. It is called 180 Tian Chong Qi Ji Hua, literally means a reboot program of 180 days. Although its English title is Me and My Family. And guess who are gonna be the leads of this drama? <laughs> it's gonna be again Zhou Yutong. She has been in quite a few mango television dramas in recent years. Then it's gonna feature Wu Yue, Liu Chang, Geng Le. Just by looking at the synopsis, it's <laughs> such an interesting story. If they do a good script, this can be a really unusual contemporary drama. There's a lady played by Zhou Yutong who is not doing very well at her own career. Her mother, played by Wu Yue, is close to 50 years old. One day, she meets a man and immediately falls in love and immediately got married and immediately got pregnant at that age. The daughter finds herself in a really awkward position now that her mother, who's close to 50 years old, is gonna give birth to her sister, who's gonna be, what, close to 30 years <laughs> younger than herself. And while all the mess is going on, she also meets a dashing doctor, who is actually a doctor taking care of her mother, I believe would be played by Liu Chang. And this starts this really weird new family story of the daughter of the mother of the gonna come newborn baby of the doctor and the mother's new husband. If it can be similar quality with the Zhou Yutong drama previously, the remembrance of things or days past, that would be great. And then we have another drama that has started shooting in Chongqing just when I'm not there <laughs> during this week, although it hasn't officially started promoting. It's a contemporary drama called 谢谢你听见我, literally means thank you for listening to me, or thank you for actually hearing or heard me. It's a Yoku drama, 24 episodes. It is gonna be led by Zhao Youting and Zhang Zifeng, a 40 years plus old man and a 20 years girl story. And it's a remake of the 2018 South Korean drama, My Sister. I haven't watched the original Korean dramas, but if you have, then you know what the story is about. And they're shooting in Chongqing, and Zhao Youting has been uh, basically seen and actually paparazzi taking photos of him working on sets in Chongqing again. Every time when I leave Chongqing, something happens in Chongqing shooting dramas. Then we have another drama that hasn't started shooting, it is rumored to start shooting in December, although it's not confirmed. 99% likely to happen. It's gonna be a big female lead, pair of drama, 40 episodes. It's Guo Se Fang Hua, English title Flourished Peony. It is a story about a girl from Tang Dynasty who is a botanist who wants to develop and grow the best peony flower, which would be a really interesting thing to look at because peony flower was a huge thing back then. It was the representation of the richness of the dynasty. It has a lot of symbolic meaning, also has a lot of decorative properties and ladies actually put the flower in their hair and they have competitions every year to see who's got the best peony flower in hair that thing actually exists so this would be a really good period drama entry point that looks at chinese culture of tang dynasty if they do justice in terms of costume and everything 99 percent confirmed it's gonna be led by Yang Zi. She is the type of actress who, if she is in a period drama, she's gonna be the big female lead. There's no other type of positioning of her being the lead. If it actually happens, we will for sure find out all the details. Also, there's no confirmation yet about who is gonna be the male lead or if there really is a male lead or panel of male leads. I mean, December, we are supposed to see the second part of Chang Xiang Si, right? Let's hope that happens. Then the last thing I want to talk about today is not specific to drama land, but it's definitely to entertainment land, which is the divorce of Zhang Zi and Wang Feng. They've been married for quite a while. They've had kids. And now they are divorced. They sent out the divorce announcement this week on social media platform simultaneously, worded exactly the same. So it's so coordinated that it's not exciting and it's definitely not pulling hair type of story and it's probably long in the making and in the preparation and they probably have separated a long time ago. It's just now they're telling you this. The end of the marriage of the superstar filmland queen and the rock singer who never manages to climb to the top of trending hashtags. I wonder if this time after the divorce it's gonna affect Wang Feng's magic of whenever he wants to release a new song or having a concert, some other people is gonna be found out, done something wrong in entertainment land and therefore climb to the top of the trending hashtag and therefore kick him off the <laughs> top list. I mean, the funny thing about this is when the divorce happened, 
And when you look at trending hashtags in China, he still never climbed to the top. The top hashtag was for a while the divorce of them, but the first name is Zhang Ziyi, not Wang Feng. So even in his own divorce, he still couldn't really get to the very top. Maybe that's just uh, his life story. <laughs> anyway, those would be the things I've collected from Chinese drama. Quite a lot of things. Thank you for watching. I'm your ex. And if you want to see me in live tomorrow, I'm talking about mostly my travel and then the giveaway bookmarks of Untamed, picked by me, bought by me, and brought back to Canada by me from Hengdian. Please join in 10 a.m my time, Winnipeg time. Thank you for watching Omnio X. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.